What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Yo, welcome back, Titan fan. And today we are going to be doing the January unboxing for Luxury Cigar Club. Yes, y'all like. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> really? Y'all part of LCC? Yes, we became part of the family yep. earlier this month. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We have found out this family is deep. Yes. Like, there's a lot of people that are part of like, LuxuryCigarClub.com. So, got yeah. a couple boxes today we're going to be going through. We got uh, the Palladium box and we got the Core box. And we're the cover with them. Yeah, so stay tuned. You guys ready to get started? Let's give it to them. So welcome back everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are going to be doing January's unboxing for Luxury Cigar Club. And we've got two boxes that we're gonna be covering. But before we get into that, Brother Stogie, let's talk a little bit about what we're smoking out of the box. So we are actually both smoking six from out of the Palladium box for January. And this one is actually the, the Anastasia. Yep, and yep. we pick up the car that they give you. Yep. Nice little car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, see that? Oh, can I give it to you? Yeah, it has everything you need, how much the, the stick costs, all the breakdowns to everything. So this is the the Anastasia, the Caldwell Anastasia Mercur. This is one of them, them uh, secretive cigars. Okay. Because the profile is medium, right? I taste okay. that. Yep. But the wrapper binder filler is undisclosed. That's so, a, that's another mystery cigar. I mean, I is that, how is I feel about like that. Is it like an air horn thing? <laughs> Wrapper undisclosed, binder undisclosed. I'm gonna have to find a special undisclosed. sound effect for like undisclosed. So like a dum da dum dum. Right. Is that one okay. I don't know how I feel about undisclosed. I, I'm sure it's all premium tobacco. It's just, why is it undisclosed? I mean, like, the wrapper's from Compton, the okay. binder's from Long Beach, <laughs> and the filler is from Whittier. Okay. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'm actually smoking the Atabay. And what are the uh, tasting notes for this one? Please? Let's see. So for the Atabay, Atabay Brujos. So the profile is medium. The wrapper is Ecuadorian. Yep. And the binder and filler, we don't know. You're kidding. So the binder is <laughs> from Rancho okay. and the filler is from Colton. <laughs> You're right. So it's a five by 52. I mean, at this point, we just kind of make it up as we go, right? You know what I'm saying? What are you tasting that? It tastes a little bit of Ranch Cucamonga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little, let's see. <laughs> nah, we can do it. <laughs> Nope. But so stop. No. Dang. So before we get into the rest of uh, the cigars here for the boxes, you know, on the show from time to time, we'd like to talk a little bit about cigar-related news and, and things going, going on, on yep. in the industry. And I was reading an article uh, probably about a week ago, actually. And let me pull it up on my phone here. And this is actually from halfwheel.com. Uh, and uh, this is an article titled FDA codifies uh, the definition for what premium cigars are. And so for those of you guys who have been smoking cigars for quite some time know, you know, we've been, you know, we in the cigar industry, specifically manufacturers, um, you know, not, not content creators or things like that, but manufacturers have been going through this battle with the FDA to really separate ourselves from the rest of the tobacco industry when it comes to cigarettes and vape and things like that. You know, and we've been looking to have a definition for what specifically entails a premium hand-rolled cigar. And specifically on top of that, what the balance is. So the whole, the whole thing, when it started was to, they wanted to make sure that tobacco wasn't targeting youth, right? kids, right? So, what we had in common with all the other tobacco stuff with the vape pens and all that other stuff were the flavors. Right. So what was under attack for the cigar community for us was all of our Jewish Abused. state, our, our Javas, our, our yep. coffee infused cigars. So they still, they still messing with them. Yeah, so you know, infused cigars are still one of those things that I don't think the battle is over just yet, but because there are infused cigars out there, uh, a lot of people, you know, especially those outside of the cigar industry have really done, you know, a number trying to roll in premium cigars with cigarettes and everything else saying that that's the same thing nah, and that, yeah. you know, and everybody knows, everybody in this industry knows that 
you know, 17, 18 year old kids when they're walking down the street with their friends or you see them at the mall or something like that. They're not sitting there enjoying a premium nah, and rolled cigar. Right, hey, bro, you just out of school? Get that Arturo Fuente? Get that new new. Nah. So it looks like there's eight uh, actual definitions that were rolled out by the FDA. So I'm just going to go through these real quick because I actually thought that this article was pretty interesting. So number one is that it is a wrapped in whole tobacco leaf. So you know, 99% of, you know, your standard premium cigars are wrapped in whole leaf tobacco. Mm -hmm. Contains a 100% uh, leaf tobacco binder, contains at least 50% of the filler by weight for long filler tobacco, i.e. Uh, whole tobacco leaves that run the full length of the cigar. So there's full leaf tobacco uh, filler that runs the whole length of the cigar and then you have what they call like mixed filler cigar which mm -hmm. would be a combination of whole leaf filler and like scrap tobacco that's kind of mixed in with the cigar uh, it's handmade and hand rolled i.e no machinery was used as a part of the simple tool such as scissors to cut the tobacco prior to rolling right has no filter non-tobacco tip or non-tobacco mouthpiece uh, does not have a characterizing flavor other than tobacco. And that's kind of where the infused cigars fall in, like you were saying. So that would almost kind of hit the gas station cigar industry because they got the, the black and miles with all 100%. the and stuff on it. And those are all machine made as well. So yep, yep. don't know where that's gonna fall for them yet. Uh, contains only tobacco, water, and vegetable gum with no other ingredients or additives. Like we've said on many episodes, there's no chemicals in cigars it's really just the leaf tobacco the only other thing you get like when we're talking about the vegetable gum is usually typically used to kind of hold together the cap of the cigar it's what they use to put the cap on there and it kind of holds and binds the cigar leaves together and then finally uh weighs uh and weighs more than six pounds per 1000 units so some of you are asking like well why does that pay our infused flavor cigars simply this they are infused. Remember we had an episode, you know, a few episodes back where we kind of explained the process on how they get those different coffee tones or that your Captain Morgan, you know, right. cigars or whatever. They have to spray those cigars with something to get them to taste like whatever they come out to taste like. So that's why they're fighting. But none of our cigars, you, you can't walk into a cigar shop at 18 years old. But hey, you know, let me get me that Allie Bradley. I'm like, no, little boy, who are you? You don't belong to grown folks. Yeah, place I think most here. places across the U.S. now and and, you know, shout out in the comments if they're if you live in a state where this isn't the law. Uh, you know, California up until I think about two years ago, uh, when it came to purchasing tobacco, was 18 and over, and then they bumped the age up to 21 unless you're uh, serving in the military and have a valid military identification, and then you can go ahead and buy tobacco when you're 18. But oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. but most places across the U.S. now that I'm at least that I'm aware of are 21 and over when it comes to purchasing tobacco. As it should be. Yeah. So. Before we get into the boxes here, flavor notes that you're getting off of your cigar. So, dry drag, before I, before I lit my cigar, right, it was like a nice bowl of raisin bread. Like just straight, when you smell, pour it in the bowl, mm -hmm. before you put the, syrup, the milk, Yep. that's all I got. But now, they're just medium, just earth tone. That's it. Medium earth tones? Yeah. Okay. This one, I mean, you guys can see as I've been puffing on it here, tons of smoke output from this. Very nice, comfortable draw off the cigar. The dry draw didn't really give me anything. I was telling Brother Stogie before we uh, came back on camera here that the dry draw for me was actually pretty light, um, just a plain tobacco taste, not much there. Now I'm getting a little bit of the cedar notes in here. Um, definitely some wood flavored notes uh, that are coming in off the cigar. I would say that this is definitely a medium, a light to medium body for me at the okay. moment. So I'm interested to see how this one develops, but all, all in all, not too bad. All right, man, let's jump into this Palladium box. What's in the Palladium box? Hey, man, so this, this <laughs> stick right here, bro, we've been we've been going everywhere to find this stick. And this is the, the Viva La Vida cigar. I know. We, <laughs> we've we talked about this. How many times have we talked about this? Every time we go to a shop, we Every talk about that. And don't nobody have Viva La Vida. Ouch. We look for Viva La Vida because we see it all online. You see it all over YouTube. You see it all over the Instagrams. Yeah. And... I don't know what it is, but none of the lounges out by us but, carry this stick. But guess what? The family we in now, yep. they got Viva La Vida. That's right. And we got a Viva La Vida. <laughs> we most you know certainly do. So real quick, so this supposed to be a full profile, full body cigar. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is exciting too. So the wrapper is Nicaraguan. 
The binder is naked eye one. Uh-oh. And the filler is undisclosed. <laughs> no, it's not. It's naked eye one. <laughs> 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 so this one is a. I get to use and... the puro air yes. one today. <laughs> yes. So this is a six and a half by 54 stick. MSRP 13 bucks. Okay. And then let's see, the next, actually the next one is the one I already told you about. Right to all undisclosed, you know what I'm saying? Nice little secretive cigar. And this one will run, will run you about 1480 for this stick. Okay. So what you got over there? So for the Atabe, uh, actually no. So for the, the one that's 14 is the Caldwell Anastasia Mercure. Uh, the profile, like Brother Stogie said earlier, was a medium. The wrapper undisclosed, binder undisclosed, filler undisclosed. Just the just said that. Size is a seven by forty-seven. Just said that. You just read it all over again. I know, but I like the way I said it. You, you started shit I mean? again. No. <laughs> First, you're gonna cut me off another view. Now you're gonna read the same shit as if you hey, said it better hey. than I said it. Salt and pepper. We'll get to that salt and pepper too. <laughs> you're gonna get enough of it. Go ahead. Keep on. Yeah, this is a little hard to read. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna read the same shit I didn't read, make sure you do a better at reading it than I did. Stumbling over words. I don't, and I don't wear glasses, but this is a little small. You getting so. old? Your birthday coming <laughs> up. Shit, your I'm birthday going. coming up. <laughs> you, you getting old, bro? All right. So the next one is the Atabe, uh, which is what I'm smoking. The medium. It's a the profile is medium. Wrapper, like uh, Brother Stogie said earlier, was Ecuadorian. Binder undisclosed. Filler undisclosed. This is a five by fifty two. So this is a robusto. I'm gonna hand that over to you and let you let your eyes strain a little bit there while you go ahead and read. Go ahead, that. old man. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make you a Kaiser appointment <laughs> too soon. Right? Have to Let's take see. an appointment at Lens Crafters or something pretty soon. We need right. a Lens Crafter sponsorship. Get your old ass. That made no sense. Give me the cigar. Let's see. So the next one is the La Palina Bronze Gordo. So when they say Gordo, this is, this is this, that's a big boy right there. A medium profile uh, cigar. Wrapper's Honduran. Binder Honduran. And the filler is Honduran and Nicaraguan. This is a 6x60 ring gauge. Okay. All right, so you didn't tell me on last, so you're leaving out stuff. Remember, that's what you give when you're playing games while we're doing these cards. So you're supposed to tell them that the Atabay, not the Attaboy, but the Atabay <laughs> was $25. Oh, yep. there you go. My right. mistake. I don't know. It's $25. That's... It's a little above my pay range right there. <laughs> but thank you, Lucky LCC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the La Polina right about 11 bucks. Okay. And the last one for the January uh, Palladium box is the Kintsugi. Kintsugi. That's, Kintsugi. A, that's a name. And this is by Alec Bradley. Okay. Alec and Bradley. So it's a medium plus profile. Um, rapper is Honduran. Binder is Honduran. Filler is Honduran. We got another Puro. We got another Puro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Size so this one is 6x52. This running about 880. Okay. So for all our newbies that are on the channel, you know what I'm saying? We do Sitting these, there with the calculator right you, now. You know what I'm saying? So what we do for you, we want to make sure that you guys know that, you know, this is some, some value in what we do here. You know what I'm saying? So all this, let's see, is about $72.60 worth of cigars. And that's if you're buying it outside of California. Now, if we were to find this in California and try to buy these individual from a lounge, you're this probably going to be, be paying more than that. here is 13 bucks. I think I've seen it as high as about $15, $17. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Alabatic and Sugi, probably a little more. Right. So, but the monthly subscription for this box is only $53.95. That is an awesome deal. You know what I'm saying? A month. So I did, I did some reading on the website. You can, if you get it, um, I think this ships out every 15th and 25th of the month. That sounds you know about right. Yep. But the good thing, you know what I'm saying, for the people trying to save money, if you got five cigars, like, I ain't going to smoke all these in one month. I don't think I want a box next month. You can stop or skip the month. And then get it for the next month after that. It's pretty dope. Yeah, because we have, you know, people who watch the channel, and there's a lot of people out there in the cigar community that maybe only have a cigar a week. Yep. You know, maybe they enjoy one on the weekend, and that's really it. And so, you know, they've only got a limited amount of space in the humidor, and there you go. Or that's they don't have a humidor, and they zip like back and running out of room. Right. We gotta live by everybody. You gotta live for everybody. So, so the one that I'm really excited about is the one we're about to touch on right now. Now, this is. The core box. Yes. So the core box, you only get three sticks in. However, especially for those people who are out there right now watching the channel who live in California, hot damn, is this a good deal? I'm telling you. Is it if, <laughs> if you live in California, you know the premium we pay on tobacco prices when it comes to, I think it's a, at least a $2 tax for each tobacco product that you buy. So if 
On top of the California tax. On the top of the tax. California tax, which I think the last time I checked was somewhere around 65 to 67% mm -hmm. for the California tobacco tax. So it's up there. So if you're buying a cigar, if you're one of those lucky people that live out in the state of Florida and you buy a cigar for 10 bucks, you know, out here, that cigar in California, you're probably looking at 15, 14, 18. yeah, yeah, 14, maybe even upwards to $18, depending on the markup, you know, from the lounge and things like that. Right. So this deal right here on the core subscription, man, that that's something else. Right. So when they send when they send this box, you know what I'm saying? They want to make sure that they give you the value of the cigars and not send in this old you know, fancy box with the fancy car. But you still do the whole car thing. Right. All thing you got to do is use a QR code on there. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you go on your phone, scan the QR code, and everything kind of pops up right there. Let me see. Boom, there you go. So all three cigars pop up, just like that. See, same thing, boom, see? That's sexy. And you just go, you know what I'm saying? So, so what do we got in the box this month? So there's a 1502 Black Gold Conquistador. Now I've heard a lot about the 1502. I don't think I've ever had the 1502, mm -hmm. but I've heard a lot about it, and so I'm very excited to try this one. So that's a, that's a, that's a 1502. That was a, a full body cigar, wrapper naked island, binder is naked island. Filler, Nicaragua. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? This is a six by fifty-six. You know what I'm saying? I'm crazy with the see. poodle hair. And at the today. bottom it says, "We suggest you enjoy it with a cup of coffee," which is you know my thing, yep. our thing. You know, shout out to Modern Nine Coffee. Yep. You know, um, in the morning, but this thing also pairs amazingly with a nice rye. Okay. I Means I'm gonna go to Total Wine and get us another bottle of rye. Yeah. Whiskey. It's next. No, we're going to say this one. And how much does that one go for? Oh, me? yeah. I forgot. I forgot. So I got so caught up in and give all me shit earlier. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. All right. So the 1502 is running about $9.90. Okay. $9.90. Let's see. Next one is the Paul Stani Habano Bellicoso. Okay. And, right? And that is that bad boy right there. All right. That one is a medium body cigar. Rapper's Ecuadorian. Binder is Indonesian, mm. and filler is Nicaragua. Okay. And it has a five and a half by 54 stick. Let me see, let's see if you see you some favorite note suggestions right there. Oh, they, they, they sure do, let's see. <laughs> Boasted notes of wood, earth, bittersweet chocolate, and a long, sweet undertone of cream. This cigar is best enjoyed at the end of the evening with a nice pastry dessert like cheesecake. No, that's not pastry, that's not pastry, no it's not. Uh, I, I got nope. cheesecake in there. It's like a, that chocolate croissant from Starbucks. Croissant? Croissant from croissant? Starbucks, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even with the nice pastry dessert or with the hot, sweet beverage. What's a hot, sweet beverage? Hot chocolate, maybe? Oh, hot chocolate. Or maybe like a sweet, like a hot, sweet tea or something like that. I can see oh, that. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And this one will run you about nine fifty. Okay. And last but not least, I see there. I see this cigar everywhere now. I'm telling you. And this there's one is, a reason you see it everywhere. Man, no, I don't know the reason. What's the reason? The reason is it's an awesome cigar. This is one of my regular rotation cigars. I, you know, I'm grateful I got one in the core box mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. But I actually have a full box of these sitting in my humidor right now. You I do. love this stick so much. But this one is a torpedo. This so is all you are asking. What, what 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 is it? Tell us, brother Stoke. Stop playing. <laughs> it is a foundation wise man Maduro, but in torpedo. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So this one here is a medium plus. The wrapper is Mexican. Binder is Nicaragua. Filler is Nicaragua. This is a six by two, five by 52 cigar. Six and a quarter. It's a big beast. Yes. Well worth it. And this thing can run you about 1170. So let's see. The cigar also delivers notes of earth, oak, coffee, leather, and a hint of welcome floral notes. Okay. Best smoked on a clean palate. Agreed. That means water. Agreed. Agreed. It does go good with wine too though. I, mm -hmm. I like it with a glass of wine, but man, All right. one of my favorites. Hey, so we adding things up for you again, you know what I'm saying? So how much is this one, brother Stokey? You know what I'm saying, cigar type, how much is this one? This buy is only $18.99. Right. Like, less than 20 bucks. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Especially <laughs> you know if you saying? live in California, what does it go for if you were to add it all up based off of what they have? All these cigars added up were about thirty-one dollars and ten cents, and you're getting it for eighteen eighteen ninety-nine. So even for you know our newbies or those who don't play spending all the extra money on cigars, 
is less than 20 bucks for three sticks. You know what I'm saying? That's literally three sticks you can enjoy. Skip a week out of the month. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You already ready for your next shipment. And these are month. premium cigars. These yes. aren't trash cigars. And I, you know, again, I challenge anybody in California to go out to any one of your lounges and find three top quality premium cigars like this for under 20 bucks. That's just, an incredible Just, just see if you can get the wise Maduro and the Petito 2 itself. Five hundred twenty bucks, and I, like you said earlier, people are hopping on this train. So I want to, you know, like I want to overemphasize this. If this is something that you guys want to get into now, now is the time. If you go on luxurycigarclub.com right now and you look at their other subscriptions, these things fill up super fast. So yeah, if you are man. not in on the ground floor when these things open up, there's a good chance you're going to miss it. And they don't know when or if they're going to reintroduce another line after they do that. Yeah, so remember, the Titans are only, you know, expressing ease. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's, it's hard to go out. Unfortunately, some lines are closed, yep. so it's, it's harder to get cigars. Um, our, you know, the most popular places like Cigar International, um, you know, CigarBid.com. Yep. People are just raiding those websites, so it's hard to even... Get them there to get what you want. It's safe to say, like, look, if we didn't think that this was a good deal for people watching our channel, we wouldn't offer it. Nah, man. We, we take into consideration, you know, when Brother Sogi and I kind of hash all these things out before we put something in front of the camera, we take into consideration whether or not we think, will the community, will the Titan family enjoy this? Can there, is there a value to our community by putting this in front of our community members? And I really do, I believe there is with this. Yeah, so shout out to all the Luxury Cigar Club family members uh we're glad to be a part of it hey real quick though the whole salt and pepper thing that you mentioned right. earlier right right so over the week uh, we think it was a weekend or something if you watch youtube or whatever or watch different cigar reviewers there was a challenge there was yes and it, i think it was started by uh ron real tv ron real tv shout out to ron real you know what i'm saying so and the challenge was you pick four cigar reviewers or four cigar channels that you would watch yep. for life yeah if you had to pick four for life, you know what I'm saying, and we were honored, you know what I'm saying, elated to be on a couple people's yeah, top, nice. top four. That's awesome, you know. But one in particular, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to boy Cowboyism with a K. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. He was like the scar types. He was like, oh, that's, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying. But no, he's like, they, they're like the salt and pepper team. So as we discussing this whole salt and pepper thing, <laughs> while I'm at home, and he's at home. He jumps in quickly. Like, you salt. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, I can see that. I tell y'all why. So you figure, but that makes me pepper. Yes. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how to rationalize yours yet, but I'm gonna rationalize mine. So you figure, right? So you see how see how uh, see how black and beautiful my beard and my hair is, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like a feel of pepper, right, right, coarse right. brown pepper, right? And then I get these little lightning strikes of silver <laughs> or white hair in there. Salt. You know what I'm saying? So it was salt penetrating my black pepper hair. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Man. yeah, that makes sense. I'd be salt. You know what I'm saying? We got to work on rationalizing me being pepper then. I think it's because you have to go and buy black <laughs> to recolor. <laughs> to re <laughs> To recolor your white hair. You know what I'm saying? Just for men, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? We land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock land on us. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it. I'm about to drool of myself. I mean, shit. All right, so before we wrap up, we just want to remind everybody to tune in tomorrow night at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to have Abe from the Great Smoke on on our first ever live Cigar Titans broadcast. We're super excited about this. Yeah, man, so come in and get some questions. If y'all know what the Great Smoke is, ask. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be on there. If you want to, we'll be able to put your questions up on the screen like uh, our boy Tim. Yep. From down to the nub does when they do the whole down to the nub thing, they put the thing up there. If we ain't watching them, go support down to the nub. Yep. And, and a huge shout out to, to Tim because, like I said, this is our first live broadcast. Yes. Cigar Show Tim. He's got two channels, actually. Cigar Show Tim. Check him out there. And down to the nub where he shirt, uh, shoots with uh, Brandon, Cigar Mechanic. Yep. 
great, great shows if you guys are into different cigar related channels on YouTube. But huge shout out to Tim for helping kind of walk us through this whole process. That's, you know, I love the community. I know Tim loves this community. Uh, and just, you know, it, it's one of those things where, you know, we really do, we come together, you know, when people got questions and people got concerns, nobody's like, I'm not helping you out, you know, seeing people as competition and stuff it's like that. It's not a competition. Right. This is a community. What do you do? You help people in your community. They need some sugar, get some sugar. They need some Kool-Aid, yep. get some Kool-Aid. You got bread, no peanut butter, I give you the bread, you give me the peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? My man. That's how we work. You know, hey, so I hope you all enjoyed this January unboxing from LuxuryCigarClub.com. Go ahead and check them out, man. Shout out. Um, all this stuff, all these goodies right here, right? Yep. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to our channel. We got stuff for y'all. We love it here. It's a community here. Everybody come here and they like in the Scar Titan Lounge. I said that last video, right? In the last video, we got comments like all over the place. Like yeah. good comments, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Keep Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the participation. Keep them coming. Hit that bell so you get new notification every time Cigar Titan put up a new video for y'all. And like always, keep them salt and pepper. <laughs> live how you smoke, smoke salt how you and live. <laughs> Actually, I mean, if you look, <laughs> like, you're grayed out, kind of white, and I got the black smooth. Well, this is like ash and cold. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's smooth, baby. I just want to be something else other than pasty, translucent white.